the whole, what we call the macro cycle of training runs throughout the year. There is the, the rest phase, and then there is a development stage, you know, like pre-preparation towards the season. And then they, we have the pre-competition. The pre-competition period is now where you have a structured weekly training sessions that are done on a daily basis, doing different uh, types of training. The structure of that uh, cycle is that uh, you have an athlete doing two sessions of either endurance speed training or speed training. So that is the general structure of the weekly session. It's a composition of uh, speed, endurance, strength training, and, and recovery runs. The best way to execute uh, training uh, to achieve that component of speed, endurance, and speed is to train on the track. Because you are doing it in a measured uh, area, it's uniform, you can also monitor progress in terms of the times achieved. I think track training is uh, one way whereby you can test yourself, you can test your muscles so that they can accommodate all the speed work. You can test your heart rate so that it can help our color to be up and down, up and down. And, 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 and it, it, it tells the, your body, your it works your body that uh, maybe in the next two months, three months, there will be a marathon. Um, and our track session actually is. Uh, going up to 15 and 16 kilometers the whole session. You know, because you go there with a set volume, let's say this week you're doing thousands in maybe three minutes and 10 seconds. Maybe after two weeks, you know, when you go to the same track, ideally for a coach to monitor progress, the time should be moving from 310, which you did you know, some, some weeks or two weeks back, should to around 3.05 or even closer to three minutes. So besides um, achieving the, the speed that you are looking for, whether it's speed endurance or speed, it also is a, a, a better way of managing, um, monitoring the progress. The tempo session is very important for an athlete because it's a fundamental, these are fundamentals and the, the cores of lasting long in the sport. Because it, it builds your mental, mental strengths and also it is giving you extra speed endurance. The tempo session, the real tempo session is, is a basic training which is holding a consistent pace. A consistent pace can be, if you are doing a 10 kilometer or a 14 kilometer training, it means that you are going to always hold on a constant speed. It could be if you are doing a 255 per kilometer or 250 per kilometer always. The, the luck that we are having in uh, Uganda is that uh, when we are having a tempo session, uh, that we can uh, go down the mountain. So we can do it on uh, 1,100 meters uh, altitude. So that means more oxygen. Uh, it is also the only place we have in our area that uh, we can run on a flat road. And uh, yeah, because of flat road, uh, lower altitude, uh, the boys can and the girls can run. Uh, they can develop much more, much more speed. Uh, we are not doing it uh, every week. So we are, we are doing it about two times in three weeks. So uh, it's. A very important session, but it is also very tough. Uh, that's also one of the reasons, reasons that we are not doing it uh, every week. You really have to be focused with your mindset because 
if you, you, you have to battle the urge of giving up, especially when you're doing a tough tempo session. Sometimes you find that your, 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 your brain is telling you that you, you need to stop, it is too hard. So you, it really trains you mentally. And uh, if you go for a race, I know that you will not be able to, to give up easily. Easy running means training that gives 50 up to 60% of the athlete's performance. Easy run is important for athletes. The main one is to, uh, the after hard training session or uh, median training session or, or long training, body to get a recovery. Easy run is important for me because of uh, when I did good training. For example, if today is competition, I can do easy running in the evening. My, my body becomes too normal. The pace for uh, easy running, is maybe as me, it is uh, different according to the athlete. Also, that is different according to the course area. That means high altitude uh, or up and down or flat area. Even in, in Ethiopia, there are many different places. Uh, sometimes it's low altitude, sometimes it's uh, high altitude. That's why the pace is different. Training for marathon actually is not a uh, one night event. It's like going for a gym. Uh, if you go to gymnasium, you need to go for more than three months in order to get muscles and become fit. Marathon on the other hand is that uh, you need actually to train for long and for a longer period so that actually your, your body can take all the trainings uh, and, and can cover the, and take all the distance. Uh, marathon actually doesn't need perfection. This, it needs consistency. That uh, it doesn't need that you are up today and tomorrow you are down. It needs that uh, you run consistently and at the end of four months, six months, will achieve in a good way. Uh, what is really important for me is that um, it's not so much the performance. It's how somebody moves from point A to point B. You can have an athlete that has probably certain uh, ability, and that athlete puts 100% effort and achieves 100% potential. To me as a coach, that's the best thing that I, when I go home, I, I really feel good. <laughs>